Hey folks, uh, Mr. Math Blog here. This lesson is Least Common Multiple, or LCM. In the last lesson we did Greatest Common Factor, and this one's Least Common Multiple. And don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. And our question here is how can we find and use the least common multiple of two whole numbers? Okay, so a multiple of a number is the product of, the, of that number and another number. So for example, multiples of 3. Here's 3 times 1. Here's 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 5 is 15. Or you can keep thinking this, you guys. Multiples of 3, we just keep doing plus 3. Uh, 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. Plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. Those are all multiples of 3. So the least common multiple, or the LCM, of two or more numbers is the least number, the smallest number uh, that's other than zero that is a multiple of both numbers or all the numbers if there's more than two. All right, so here's an example, you guys. Every six days, Chuck goes swimming. Every eight days, he rides his bike. On what days will he both swim and ride his bike? Okay, so they give us a chart here, and so in the chart we're going to shade all the days that Chuck swims. Well, he, sh he uh, swims every six days, so we're going to shade all the multiples of six. And then we're going to circle all the days that he rides his bike. Well, he rides his bike uh, every eight days, okay? So on all the multiples of eight, we'll circle those numbers, okay? So let's shade. So I'm going to shade in this box of six, and then the next multiple of six is six times two is 12. And then we can just keep adding six if you want. 12 plus six is 18, and then plus six is 24 plus 6 is 30. Okay, I'm going to shade all those boxes, and I'm just saving time, you guys. So there they are. There's all the multiples of, of 6 right there. All right, now we're going to uh, circle all the days that he rides his bike. Well, he, he rides his bike every 8 days, so we'll circle this 8, and then 8 times 2 is 16, so we'll circle this 16, and then 8 times 3 is 24, or we can just keep adding 8. 16 plus 8 is 24, and then plus 8 again is 32, and then plus 8 again is 40, so we're going to circle all the multiples of 8 right there. Okay, there they are right there, so let me uh, shrink that up and save us some room right there. So on what days will Chuck swim and bike at the same time on both days, okay? So that's the, the boxes that are both shaded and the numbers are circled. So here's one right here, 24, and then 48, and then uh, 72, see how it's circled and shaded, and then finally 96. So those are the days that he's going to uh, uh, bike and swim at the same on the same day right there. All right, so the number of days that Chuck will swim and bike are the common multiples of 6 and 8, okay? So this is 6 times 4, and it's also 8 times 3. This is 6 times 8 and 8 times 6. Let's see, where's the other one? This is 6 times 12 and 8 times 9. Okay, and so on. Those are all multiples of 6 and, um, and 8. So what does the LCM represent in this situation? With the least common multiple represents the first day that Chuck will both swim and bike. Okay, so the LCM here is this 12. So he's gonna, the first day he's going to swim and bike, is, I'm sorry, did I say 12? is 24 right there. We're going to come back to the 6 and the 8, the LCM of that, towards the end of this lesson here. So keep that in mind there, okay? So the LCM of 6 and 8 is 24. And we can use it. Here's another way, you guys. So applying the LCM, we can use the LCM of two whole numbers to solve other problems. So for example, Mr. Bullock is a math teacher at Bella Vista High School. To discuss a uh, least common multiple problem, he gives a piece of candy to every third person, what a guy, and he gives extra credit to every fourth person. So which student will be the, the first who gets both candy and extra credit? Yum, yum, and good for extra credit. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and list all the multiples of three and four, and then we'll circle the common multiples. Okay, so I did this kind of fast, you guys. Sorry about this. Just saving some time. Here's 3 times 1, 3 times 2. Or we can just keep going plus 3. 9 plus 3 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. Plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. Okay? And then here's all, the, not all of them, but here's some multiples of 4. 
4 times 1, 4 times 2, 4 times 3, plus 4, plus 4, plus 4, plus 4. So there's multiples of 3, here's multiples of 4, then it says circle the common multiples. Well, they both share 12s and they both share 24s right there, so let's do that right there. And then so the least common multiple of 3 and 4 is that 12 right there, okay? So the first student who gets both candy and extra credit is going to be that 12th student right there, okay? All right, so let's try another one, you guys. Let's uh, let's find the least common multiple of 4 and 9 by listing the multiples. I'm going to list the first 10 multiples, okay? Here's 4 times 1. Here's 4 times 2. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 4. 4 times 5. 6, 7, 8. 4 times 9. 4 times 10, okay? And then multiples of 9. 9 times 1 is 9, and you can just keep adding 9. So 9 plus 9 is 18, so there's 9 times 2. Uh, 18 plus 9 would give us 9 times 3, plus 9, plus 9, plus 9, and just keep doing that right there. And then, so the LCM is this 36 right there. Now what I like to do, you guys, when I'm doing it this method, I always take the bigger number and I start listing multiples of the bigger number. And then I start finding which one of these bigger numbers is the smaller number going to go into. It's just quicker that way for me. Okay, so here it is, 36 right there. So, um, so the LCM of uh, 4 and 9 is 36. Now, let's go back to that 6 and 8. The LCM of 6 and 8, do you remember what that was? Least common multiple of 6 and 8 was 24. Well, here's another way that I pulled out of a different book, you guys. This is not discussed in your book right here. So we're going to write the prime factorization of each number. Now, if you don't know what that is, please ask your teacher. You'll, your teacher will know what the, how to do that, you guys. Prime factorization are factor trees. Do you remember doing factor trees? Here's factor trees right here. 6 times or 6 is the same as 2 times 3. 8 is the same as 2 times 4, but 4 can be broken down again to 2 times 2. So these red numbers right here are all the prime factors of 6. The prime factors of 6 are 2 times 3, and prime factors of 8 are 2 times 2 times 2, okay? So we'll put a 3 here, and we'll put those other two 2's right there, okay? All right, and then... We're going to list the common prime factors of the numbers, if any, okay? And then we'll put that right here in the middle. Here's going to be the common. So 6 and 8 have one prime factor of, what do they have that's the common, you guys? 6 is 2 times 3. 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. Well, they both share a common 2 right there. And you can pick whichever pair you want, but they both have a 2 in common. So what we're going to do is put that 2 right there in the middle, the common factor right there. So we'll place the prime factors of the numbers in the appropriate parts of this Venn diagram. Okay, the Venn diagrams are two overlapping circles. Okay, so they both share the two, so let's put that in here because it'll be encompassed in this circle of six and it'll also be encompassed in this circle of eight. So let's put that two right there, the common prime factor right there. All right, this one has a blank. Do you, can you guys see what this one is? Okay, here's six. Six is three times two which is 2 times 3. Okay, 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. Well, this only has two of them, so we got to put that third 2 right there. All right, and then the LCM, whoops, let me slide that up, you guys. To find the LCM, you just find the product now of all of the numbers in the Venn diagram. So here it's going to be 3 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, so let's do this. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. So the LCM is 24. Now you can do the same thing for the GCF, the greatest common factor in the last lesson. Now the last lesson was a little bit longer so I couldn't fit this in there, but you take the common numbers in here and you multiply them together. That would be the GCF, okay? So you do the same thing, do the factor trees and put the common ones in the middle right there, then the GCF is just the product of these two guys. Well the GCF is, uh, whoops, I'm sorry, the LCM is, is, is 24 and the GCF up here would but it would be just plain old two right there. All right, you guys, I hope that made sense, and take care.